what's going on? Gozy here and welcome back to the channel. Alright, last time I saw y'all uh, was in Texas for Texas 2K23. Alright, we took the car down there, um, had our fun. Alright, uh, we didn't get in trouble, didn't break anything expensive and uh, made it back in one piece. Alright, so came back home and we had to get the show on the road uh, as far as getting everything together for our move uh, up north to Virginia. Alright, um, so quick update, quick update. I know you guys have missed a lot of stuff. It's been about two weeks since my last upload, so I'm going to try to run through them in sequential order like i said went to texas uh we had our fun uh had the car turned down to right around that a thousand horsepower range maybe a little bit less than that uh it ended up raining like two out of like the four days i was down there and then after the rain it got pretty cold i think those last couple nights the weather was at like like the 35 maybe 40 degree uh mark so took a lot of power out of it and was still blowing tires off i mean i i went down there knowing that knowing that i had traction issues but uh, i've always wanted to go to texas 2k and you really couldn't tell me nothing. Had some good runs. Almost I swept the C7 uh, Z06. It was making like 1,400 horsepower. If you haven't seen the video, please go watch it. All right. Uh, had a couple um, other good runs. Uh, Supra, uh, GT500 with a Motec, Twin Turbo. Fast forward, so I uh, brought the car home and it's literally been uh, driveway parked for the past uh, two and a half weeks because I've had to use that uh, garage uh, area for, you know, like the boxes and stuff. And it's, she's just been constantly exposed to the weather. Uh, several thunderstorms. Right now it's drizzling and it is, she just, she just rusting away. But it's all good though. Once we get to Virginia, we're going to do some TLC, uh, tender love and care. Uh, try to bring everything back up to standards. Came back from Texas, I think it was Tuesday. And then that following weekend, I heard about a testing tune at uh, Gainesville. Uh, it's a local track about an hour south from here. And um, I heard about it last minute. And the last time we had a track was in Bradenton. And we ended up having lit mode issue literally every other pass. So I figured this was a good opportunity for me to go test in tune and uh, see if some of the fixes that I've done with the tune worked. We got to the track about six hours late. Had barely enough time to get two passes in. And um, what I do is when I transit with the car in the trailer, because I don't have a filter uh, for the head unit, I usually stuff a rag in there. Got to the track and I was scrambling trying to get the car um, onto the staging lane and I ended up cranking the motor with the rag still in the Pro Charger inlet and it chewed up the blades. Fucked up the blades in the Pro Charger. Yeah, had a, had a rag in there. To make sure nothing got in while we drove, but totally forgot about that. Oh, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Let me see him real quick. Uh -uh. You think it'll still run? Want me to find out, right? Right. I think this one is pretty much broken. All right, and since then, we've done some research, spoke to Pro Charger, and that puts us at a crossroads of about three options. All right, so option A, uh, send Pro Charger the F1R, and it's gonna cost about 800 bucks for a rebuild. Uh, I'll pay shipping each way, so pretty much 900, maybe 950, and we could have a rebuild F1R. Option B is to actually upgrade to the F1X. So I asked about that, and they said because the F1R and F1X share some of the same like gearing or backplate, whatever he called it, uh, it would knock some uh, some uh, dollars off the F1X because they would use parts of the F1R to build the F1X. It would still be the F1X uh, compressor housing and all that good stuff so and that'll run me about 3500 and option c is to pretty much call it quits with this belt driven stuff and start looking into doing a turbo uh i would say right now i am leaning more so towards the f1x all right because i feel like with the f1r you know we had tons of belt issues and we finally got it figured out now all right, so with the F1X, it should just be plug and play, uh, making a little bit more boost, and you know, just have some fun with it, uh, save up, and then probably do the turbo, um, Holly Dominator stuff, uh, all that at the same time. 
Holly Dominator uh, might might come first before the turbo, but you know we'll see. We'll play it by ear. Uh, the only thing is, obviously, yes, you're thinking it. I am spending more money to make more horsepower, but I'm still not addressing the suspension issue. So, for sure, all right, for sure, in Virginia, we're gonna be taking a dive on the suspension. I've already started looking uh, between uh, Manser, uh, Viking, and LG. LG Motorsports has a lot of good stuff. Um, so, so really, it's just more so, you know, just doing more research uh, to see uh, who's had better luck with what. Uh, I've heard a lot of good stuff about Manser as well. Um, but, I mean, at this point, it's just like I don't want to say that I'm chasing my tail trying to put down, you know, 12, 1,300 horsepower, you know, on the street. Um, at the track, even with the current suspension, it hooks up just fine. Uh, we ran a uh, 3.8. Uh, 60 to 130 and that was while I was still dialing in the Met so it definitely had um, a lot more in her and right now with the blades as is on the track we were missing about six to seven pounds of boost all right and I managed to miss third gear on both uh, on both passes Yeah, it was just it was just not my day. On a flip note, so the struts for the wing uh, finally came in, and I think it definitely completes the look. All right, garage made wing, um, somewhat functional. And uh, at Texas 2K, I was telling uh, I was a guy that had a 1400 horsepower C6. Um, he said he does most of his runs on the street, but he has a big old GT wing. And I was telling him like. I, I kind of felt like I was tripping, but when I lost my carbon fiber uh, lip on there and I did the drag wing, I felt like my traction on the street got a little worse, right? And honestly, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how I feel about running a, uh, you know, like a GT wing uh, just to create more uh, downforce in the rear. Um, his his looked pretty sick. I should have got a picture of it, but I'm not sure if, if that's an idea that I would want to entertain for this car. I mean, uh, with the F1X or turbo setup, and honestly, I'm I'm um, highly considering you know just doing less of the street stuff and transitioning more to like the track stuff. Uh, I'm I'm gonna break more parts, and it's gonna take a little bit, a lot more money actually. But I mean, you know, one thing at a time, and I think we'll uh, we'll all definitely get there. All right, um, like I said, so got. Some of the stuff boxed up. I have to actually had to go through all these boxes earlier this morning um, because last night we got the Infinity running. But we uh, threw codes for random misfire along with a, uh, I think it was like a P1104. I uh, looked that up and it talked about uh, fuel rail, um, uh, fuel rail pressure sensor, yada, yada, yada. So I uh, took the uh, intake manifold off just so I could verify that, it's, that it was properly seated. Um, and also uh, check the uh, connections uh, for the fuel, um, fuel injector, uh, fuel rail, and all the other good stuff. So um, about to start slapping it back together now. Um, I looked at the boxes so that I could find my spare sets of uh, koi packs. So I'm gonna be swapping those as well. And um, firing it up and see if we still have those issues. I kind of slept on this car, but now it's definitely crunch time. So definitely to get this figured out, driving in and out of my garage. And we just got, we just got parts, parts everywhere. A lot more boxes in the house. So I got to retape all this stuff now that I had to go through to find those koi packs. 
and then try to try to get this running. That was just a quick update. I know I've been MIA for the past couple of weeks. All right, next time I see you guys, I'm probably gonna be in Virginia by then. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys the new garage setup. I'll give you guys a good walkthrough, um, amongst other things. All right, so I'm gonna get back to work, try to get these affinity uh, issues figured out. Uh, I might do a video on the road trip, but probably not because I'm, I'm gonna try to get there as fast as I can so I can sign the closing documents on the house. All right, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for your support, for the love. All right, like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll be seeing y'all on the next upload.